when it feels like your whole life is falling apart. Storms are real. Storms are inevitable. You cannot hide from the storms of life, for storms are part of life. Storms can come in different categories, shapes and forms, such as storms in your marriages, storms in your business, storms in your health, storms in your career, storms in your spiritual walk, personal storms, economic storms, national storms, and the list goes on and on. And when we get in a storm, we have a tendency to wonder, where is God? Job said, I looked for him. He was there a minute ago, but now I can't find him. I looked on the right side and I couldn't find him. I looked on the left side and I perceived him not. Where is God in the storm? Because we buy into this notion that if God was with us, we would have no storm. That if God were really with us, we would be happy. That if God were really with us, everything would go smoothly. That if God were really on our side, we would have no family problems. If God were really with us, our bills would be paid. How could God be with us and our house be in foreclosure? How could God be with us and we have cancer? How? Job said, I can't figure it out. How could my kid die and God be with me? How could my house be on fire and God be with me? I looked for him. I looked for him. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I looked on the right. I didn't see him. I looked behind me. I didn't. You said you had my back. I didn't see him. I looked in front of me. I thought he'd lead the way. I didn't see him. But you cannot see in a storm. That's why he told you to walk by faith and not by sight. You cannot see in a storm. Don't look for God to be sensual in your storm. He will not appeal to your senses. Your senses add your comfort. God will not make you comfortable in your storm. But just because you are in the presence of the storm, the storm does not negate the presence of God, nor does it indicate the absence of God. Don't allow the presence of the storm to make you doubt the presence of God. You're not in this all by yourself. You're not paying the bills all by yourself. You're not raising that child all by yourself. You're not holding your home together all by yourself. Don't take the presence of the storm to indicate the absence of God. Don't allow the presence of the storm to make you doubt the presence of God. You're not in this all by yourself. You're not paying the bills all by yourself. You're not raising that child all by yourself. You're not holding your home together all by yourself. Don't take the presence of the storm to indicate the absence of God. Just because you are in the presence of a storm does not negate the presence of God, nor does it indicate the absence of God. You can be doing all the right things and still face difficulties. You don't have to invite them. You just live long enough in this life and they'll show up. Maybe you're not experiencing any right now. Praise the Lord. But that's no assurance that your tomorrow will also be storm free. Why? Because everything under the sky is seasonal. Even life is seasonal. If you are in the worst storms of your life, Get ready, because everything will turn around for your good. No matter how long a night lasts, it must still give way for the day. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Also, if you are in the best season of your life, be ready for storms. If you are not doing well in your endeavors, don't be depressed. You are just in the season of storms. If your marriage is under serious attacks, don't back out. It's just a season. Don't give up. Don't make a permanent decision on a temporary situation. No season lasts forever, so expect transformation. Some storms come today and leave immediately, while some come and stay for a longer period of time before leaving. Don't give up. Storms of life is no respect of personal status. The rich experience storms and the poor too. No one is exceptional. The old has their share of storms, so does the young too. Abraham and Sarah experienced the storms of bareness for 25 years, despite their close walk with God. Jacob experienced the storms of stagnation for 20 years, and after his encounter with the Lord, his storm ceased. Moses experiences the storms of exile for 40 years, and because storms don't last forever, he returned back to the nation where he was a fugitive 
as a national hero. David faced the storm of confronting a giant and he returned from that fight victorious. Daniel returned from the lion storm as the most preferred president. Jesus, the son of God, passed through different storms. He came out of it, giving humanity victory over sin and death. When you go through the stories of these great men and women of exploits, you will notice that in the midst of their storms, they knew that there is someone always with them to strengthen and console them. When Elijah was confronted by a strong storm of death, he fled for his life. Right where he was sleeping, an angel came to console him and gave him food for strength. Don't be moved by exhausted emotions when going through a storm. Avoid taking permanent decision based on temporary emotions. See, I learned that when you get tired, you can't trust how you feel. When your emotions are exhausted, they will send you false signals. They'll make you think you're in danger when you're not. They'll make you think you can't trust who you can. They'll make you think people who love you hate you. They'll make you lash out at people who are really trying to help you because you have exhausted emotions. When you get tired, your perception of the situation is altered. When you get tired, you'll be scared when you're safe. When you get tired, you'll be holding on to what's familiar and missing the fact that you can hold on to the promise before you. When you get tired, you make dumb decisions because you have exhausted emotions. What you must understand is that you are not alone during the storms of your life. There is someone always with you. Can a mother forget her suckling baby? Peradventure she forgets. Your Father in heaven will never forget you. The Lord is always with you in the midst of storms. So even when you think someone is not there, Jesus is saying to you now that I am there with you always. You are not alone in that phase of life. You are not alone in that crisis. You are not alone in that storm. Storms don't appear to break you. Instead, they come to make you stronger. Storms come to make you better than you were earlier. For it is during the storms of life that you begin to discover who you truly are and what you are made of. It's in the midst of storms that you know who truly loves you or not. It's in the midst of storms that you will know if you are faithful to the things of God or not. It is in the midst of storms that you will discover your true capabilities and potential. Storms can bring out the best in you if you allow them to. They can teach you valuable lessons and help you develop a deeper relationship with God, ultimately leading to spiritual growth and maturity. It is important to remember that God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. So when you find yourself in the middle of a storm, reach out to Him in prayer and trust that He will be there to guide, support, and comfort you through the difficult times. In the midst of the storm, never lose faith in God's love and plan for your life. Remember that He has promised never to leave you nor forsake you. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus, who is the author and finisher of your faith. He will see you through the storm and bring you to a place of peace, victory, and growth. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being our refuge and strength during the storms of life. We acknowledge that we cannot face these challenges alone, and we are grateful that you are always by our side. Help us to trust in your guidance and presence even when we cannot see or feel you. Lord, strengthen our faith and enable us to stand firm in the midst of the storm, knowing that you are in control and that your plans for our lives are good. Teach us to rely on you completely and to find our peace and security in your loving embrace. We pray for those who are currently facing storms in their lives. May they feel your comforting presence and experience your strength and peace as they navigate through their trials in the midst of their pain. May they come to know you more deeply and intimately, and may their faith in you grow stronger. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.